Good evening. My name is Dwayne, and I would like to welcome you to the Walking with Jesus Christmas Eve service. We hope you and your family are having a wonderful Christmas Eve and will have a wonderful Christmas day tomorrow. We'd like to thank you just for taking some time out of your day with your family to spend with us as we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Get ready for a phenomenal worship experience this evening where we will hear a message from Pastor Jimmy and much more. This is an interactive worship experience. The comment section is open. Please feel free to comment a prayer request, a praise report, or just drop an emoji. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, as well as share it with some of your friends. We now would like to turn it over to Pastor Jimmy for a special message. Thank you for joining us once again. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Thank you for tuning in to our Sunday online service. I'm so excited today. There's such a presence of God in this place. And I pray that the presence of God that is in this place right now, that you may feel it there at your home, wherever you're at, in a car, maybe you're at a family member's house, maybe you're gathered there together with your family. I just pray that the presence of God may just encounter every single person that is just there watching me right now, listening to me. And I want to be real short today, but as many of us know uh, that Jesus Christ is the reason for this season but not just this season, but Jesus is the reason to every single season in our lives. Whether it's Christmas, you know, whether it's the beginning of the year, mid-year, end year, Jesus is the reason to every single season in our life. And as I was just meditating on the Lord and just asking the Holy Spirit, what should I speak on today? All that just was ringing inside my heart was this, and it's in John chapter 14, verse 6, and it says, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And I know many of us maybe have heard this Bible verse before. Maybe, you know, you yourself have read it before. But there's such truth in this. You know, it says that Jesus said to him, I am the way. See, one of the things that Moses, the Lord told Moses is when they ask me, he said, Moses asked the Lord, when they ask me, who sent me? What should I say? And Moses said, tell them that the I am. And what is the, what is the meaning of the name I am? Jesus was telling Moses, and he's telling us today, I am your healer. I am your deliverer. I am the one who will restore everything in your life. I am your provider. I am the miracle worker. I am everything and anything you need me to be. See, in Jesus, there is life. In Jesus, there's fullness. In Jesus, there's absolutely everything. And this Bible verse, we're here and it's saying that Jesus is the way. What does that mean? There is no other way but Jesus. There is no other thing that you may find in this world that but Jesus, he is the only one that would lead to true joy, true peace, true satisfaction, true fullness, true healing. Whatever it is that you need, Jesus is the only way. He is the way. See, a lot of times we try and find our way through maybe this new age things, maybe through saging, palm reading. Maybe it's through, you know, um, friends. Maybe we try and find our way through family members, through counseling. Let me tell you, Jesus is the only way. Jesus Christ, there is no one else but Jesus. He is the only way to heaven. He is the only way to a satisfied life. He is the only way to fullness of life. And aside from just him being the only way, he's the only truth. See, it doesn't matter what people are telling you. Jesus is the only truth. I don't know what the doctor maybe told you, but let me tell you, Jesus is the truth. He is your healer. I don't know what your bank account is telling you. I don't know what your job is telling you, but Jesus Christ is your father and he is your provider and he will provide for you. I don't know what it is that maybe you, you, you need help emotionally. Maybe you're going through things mentally. Jesus is the one who will cause stability in your mind in your emotions maybe you're craving for love maybe you're trying to find love in different places maybe you're trying to find love in different things but jesus is the only truth don't lay don't let society lie to you don't let other religions lie to you don't let nothing in this world lie to you jesus is 
the only truth. You that are watching me right now, I feel the presence of God just touching many people right now that are listening and watching me. And you're saying, I want this Jesus that Jimmy is talking about. Maybe you know about Jesus or maybe you've heard about Jesus, but do you actually know him? Do you know the one that died for you? Do you know the one that you open your Bible and read about? Do you know him? He is the only way. He is the only truth. See, nothing outside of this world apart from Jesus is truth, but only him. He is truth. Nowadays, I see through social media, and we're just seeing so many people get into so much new age practices. We're looking at so many people get into just so many false ideas, and, and, and we want to be approved by likes and followers and influence and who loves me, who likes me, who sees me. But let me tell you, all that is false. All of that is fake. It's not true. Jesus is truth. He is the only truth. There's people that are watching me right now. And you've been wanting to find truth. You've been wanting to find hope. You've been wanting to find the meaning of life. And it's only in Jesus that you can find that life and that truth. And that's why I end with this where it says, Jesus and I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. If you're watching me right now, Jesus is the life. If you're watching me right now and you've been having suicidal thoughts, you've been, th you've been wanting to end it, especially in these times and holidays of Christmas and New Year's. You're feeling alone. You Maybe you have family, but it feels like you don't have a family. Maybe you were raised up without your father. Maybe you don't know who your dad is. Maybe you're here alone. Maybe you're watching me and you're home alone and you're not, and no one's around you. And while everyone else is celebrating their holidays, you're just finding yourself home alone, not knowing what to do. Let me tell you, Jesus is the life. He is the life. He is the one that you need. And I'm here to tell you today, you that are watching me, it's not time to end your life, but it's time to begin a new life in Jesus. It's not time to, to, to end your life and say, I'm an accident. I was not supposed to be here. I'm good for nothing. Jesus is telling you that there is life in him the life you are looking for it's found in him and all you need to do is allow Jesus Christ to come into your life but just not come into you into your life but know him go after a relationship with him he longs to know you he loves you he's obsessed with you he died for you the Bible says that God's thoughts for our life are more than the grain of sand I don't know who here has ever been to the beach and if you've ever placed your hand in the sand and you just let it fall through your hands, there's thousands and millions and millions and millions of pebbles, of pieces of sand that just are falling through your hand. The Bible says that his thoughts for us are more than that. He's thinking about you right now and he loves you. If you clicked on this video, if you clicked on this service right now, it's because he drew you. It's because he's knocking at your door. It's because he's loving on you right now and he's telling you, come to me. See, the Bible says, Jesus said, if there is someone here who is weary, heavy burden, you don't know what to do with your life anymore. Jesus is telling you today, come to me. Come to me. He's not telling you come to drugs. Jesus is not telling you come to sexual immorality. Jesus is not telling you come and, and, and let's do these things practices of sin Jesus is telling you come to me come to me see you don't got to be perfect to come to Jesus you don't have to be ready to come to Jesus Jesus will take the broken pieces and mend them and put them all together Jesus will take that test in your life and turn it into a testimony Jesus will take that mess in your life and make it a message Jesus will turn your life around there is something beautiful behind that yes that you can give to the Lord right now and I just encourage you right now there is no other way to the Father Jesus died and broke the veil to restore our relationship with him to restore our relationship with the Father do not end this year without Jesus I feel it strong in my heart there's people watching me don't end this year without Jesus don't end this day without Jesus as many people in the world they celebrate that Jesus was born today and all of this but let me tell you Jesus just didn't was not just born but he died for us on a cross he died for us on a tree and not only did he die, but he rose from the grave on the third day and he did it to restore our relationship with him. He did it because what we deserved was hell. We deserved condemnation. 
we deserve the consequences of sin that's what the bible says for the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ it's only through jesus that we can find the true meaning of life of happiness it's all jesus is the way he is the truth and he is the life you that are watching me if you say jimmy i want this jesus that you're talking about i want to encounter this man named jesus that you're talking about this man named jesus christ of nazareth the son of the living god came into one day my into a hotel bathroom in which i was in he encountered me there and since that day my life has never been the same every sickness in my body left all depression left all sexual immorality left all wage of sin all death of sin all burden of sin left in my life i don't live a perfect life but i lived a life filled of wholeness and of peace because jesus is with me life isn't perfect and life isn't easier but i know in the difficult moments i don't fight these battles alone anymore i have jesus with me if you're this person you're saying jimmy i want this i want you to repeat after me and say lord jesus in this moment i accept you as my lord and my savior jesus help me know you in a true and personal way and repeat after me and say lord come in my heart do what only you can do in my life i surrender completely to you it's not my will, but it's your will in my life. I repent of all of my sins. And I ask that your precious blood may clean me right now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And if you're watching me and you do have a relationship with God, I urge you to press in even more. The Bible says that deep calls on to deep. There is more of God for you to experience. There is deeper depths in the Lord for you to encounter. Press in more. Even though we're a couple of days before the year ends, keep pressing on to Jesus. And when this new year starts, be after Jesus with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your strength. Lord, I pray for every person that is watching me right now. And I pray that the presence of God may come into every home. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord may come and touch every heart may come touch every mind. I pray that every heart of stone be removed and God, you give them a heart of flesh in the name of Jesus. If you're sick in your body right now, I want you to place your hand wherever it hurts in your body, whether it be a terminal disease, whether it be a headache, whether it be a broken bone, a missing organ, anything that's impossible for the Lord that you're dealing with physically, I want you to place your hand right there. And Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I enforce the work of the cross. Your word says that by your stripes, we are healed. And Father, I release your healing anointing. I release your healing power over every single person that is watching me right now. And I command sickness to leave. I command sickness to go out of your body right now. Leave your mind. Loosen your mind. Every spirit of depression, every spirit of anxiety, spirit of sexual immorality, every sickness comes out. And I declare you free right now. If you are missing an organ, I command that organ to be made new now. I command organs to be created now. I command eyes to open, deaf ears to be opened right now. Those who are mute and can't talk, I command your tongue to be loosened right now. There it is. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. If you've never been baptized by the Holy Spirit, I pray that the Spirit of God comes over you right now. Spirit of God, come and visit every person, I pray. Precious Holy Spirit, visit every home, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, and I just pray that in this Christmas, in this season, that Jesus may be your Lord and Savior, and that you may be after Him and pursue a relationship with Him. He loves you, and He desires to talk to you and for you to talk to Him. I love you. And thank you so much. God bless you. 
Hi everyone, my name is Francesca from Walking with Jesus. I have the privilege and the honor to share a simple message with you. So if you open up your Bibles with me to Exodus 35, five, it says, take from among you an offering to the Lord, whoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it as an offering to the Lord, gold, silver, bronze. I wanted to start with that. And then I want you to also turn to Matthew chapter two, verses nine through 12. I want to talk about the wise men that came to Jesus in a manger, that came to Jesus the baby in a manger. There are three things I want to mention about this. Exodus 35 mentions to bring them from among you, to bring from you an offering to the Lord. He says one of those things are gold. And they brought this to the tabernacle as the tabernacle was being created in the book of Exodus. In Matthew 2, we see when Jesus is born, these three wise men were led by the star in the sky that stopped over the manger where Jesus was born. They came and worshiped before the Lord. They came and worshiped before this baby Jesus. They brought frankincense that spoke of worship. They brought myrrh that spoke of the anointing that is, that is done over those who are led to their death, that is meant for those that are going to die. And they brought gold. They brought this invaluable, gold. And I speak about this because this is a season where we will see many symbolisms and idols of Jesus the baby in a manger. But I want you to remember that these three wise men came. They followed the Spirit. The Holy Spirit reveals Jesus to us. The star that led them to the manger, that was the Holy Spirit bringing them to Jesus, revealing Jesus to them. So they came and brought their offering, but they knew who they were bringing it to, and they did it from their spirit. Exodus says, take from among you and to give with a willing heart. It's not an obligation, but they come and we come and bring our offerings and tithes before the Lord because we know who we're bringing it to. And I just urge you tonight that if you are that person that is, doesn't usually tithe, doesn't doesn't usually offer. I want and pray that tonight the Holy Spirit would reveal Jesus to you so that you know and have the conviction of who you are giving to today. That star that might be on your tree right now, that is the star that symbolizes the Holy Spirit that led them to Jesus. And I just pray that that is the cry of our hearts today and forever, that whenever we come and bring our tithes and offerings, we know who we are bringing it to. These wise men, they came and they brought their tithes and offerings to a baby, which spoke of the humanity of Jesus, but they brought gold, which spoke of the deity of the Lord. They brought frankincense, which was only used for worship in the temple, which spoke of the divinity of Jesus. And they brought myrrh, which prophesied that they knew that this baby was born and it was their Messiah and was here to die for their sins. And today, I pray that we remember the reason for this season, that it is Jesus, that he is our savior and he came to save us. So as you give your tithes and offerings, Offerings. We, we are going to pass the ways to give on the screen, but as you give your tithes and offerings, I just pray that you would pray to the Holy Spirit to put in your spirit, to put in your heart why you're giving, to reveal Jesus to you as you give. I bless you. And as you are giving, I'd like to pray for you. I'd like to pray for these tithes and offerings that you are giving in. So Father, right now, Lord, I just pray, Spirit of God, that in the same way that you led the three wise men to Jesus, Father, I pray for every family watching right now, Lord, that they may know you, Jesus, that you would be present. Holy Spirit, lead us to Jesus. Reveal Jesus to us. I pray that in this season, we would not lack your presence, Jesus, that we would feel you, that we would know why you came and died for us, that we would know you as our Messiah, that we would know you as the one who came and saved us, that we would be reminded of the blood on the cross that redeemed us. Lord, I pray for abundance in this season, Lord, that you would bless those in this season that do not have, Lord, that as they build this up in your storehouse in heaven, Father, that you would bless them here on earth, Father. I cover these tithes and offerings in the blood of Jesus. I declare that they are blessed, Lord, and I just pray that we will see not only before the end of the year, but in the new year, your over abundance and your love for us, Jesus. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I thank you for tuning in. Merry Christmas. I'm Nadia from the Walking with Jesus community. Thank you so much to everyone who tuned into our Christmas service. We hope this message touched you and blessed your life. 
you have any prayer petitions, please put them in the comments below. Pastor Jimmy's going to be reading all of these and praying over them. Remember, we're back to in-person service on January 7th. I hope to see you here. If you enjoyed this content, I invite you to join the Walking with Jesus community. Displayed on the screen, you'll find the handles for Pastor Jimmy and Walking with Jesus. If you're looking for more of Jesus in your life, you want to lean more into your faith, connect with us here, follow us online. Thank you for being part of the Walking with Jesus community. Merry Christmas and have a blessed new year.